Good evening ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? Here is pretty okay. It's day 45 of sobriety. As I said yesterday, I uh, signed a new client which bailed this morning and that <laughs> sucked a lot. It really took the air out of me for a while because that had sorted out my rent every month and get me less stressed and get me a little more up on my feet. But it also reminds me how many times I shake the hand or promised or signed anything and then didn't fulfill what I said. So it's a hard lesson learned in a situation as I am in now. But I can't deny that it just, uh, it was really just took the air out of me. But it also taught me that, hey, have the payments link and everything set up and let them pay directly and even if they cancel after a month I get one month of training with them that's the lesson learned from this also so that's good but it sucks but it's many things that sucks in life but this is a good lesson for me it's just to keep on moving forward what else is new? Keep on going with the course. Um, started up a new Instagram account where I'm posting stories and reels only. With uh, checking in every day with different things. Diet, mood, uh, a good morning of course, work and fitness. An evening check. I think it's six different stories I put up every day. You can put the link in the description if you want to follow that one. Otherwise, it feels pretty okay. I was looking through my uh, videos and it just amazed me that I've been keep on doing this every day for 45 days now it's kind of amazing for being me to keep on doing something like this but if it's good and with the support we from you it's it's amazing and it really helps me in in my sobriety to stay on track even if things suck sometimes i always get love from you and it, it, this channel is special for me it, it, it really is i follow youtube is my go-to for everything and i follow a lot of channels but this one like putting my life out like this and showing how life can be when you screw up a lot and relapse and the struggle with myself because I still think that the drugs and whatever substance is is, is a coping mechanism and a symptom symptom of what's going on inside me. Hmm? So, I think you heard this one, Oliver Anthony, Richmond, north of Richmond. Got that in the comment because I was sitting and searching for a music video to react to. I heard this one before, but I think it's, and I think you heard it also because it has so many views. 130 million or something but it's a beautiful track and it says a lot so let's do that
Here we go. Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere lord we got folks in the street ain't got nothing to eat and the whole beast milk and welfare well, god if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground because all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down Lord, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, for people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. you know, but I know that you do, cause your dollar ain't shit, and it's taxed to no end, cause the rich men, north the rich men. Selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay. Land of the free, home of the brave, what happened? What happened? That's a, <clears throat> a really is such a, and, and just take the lyrics out and just the, the melody, the music and the nature and the dog. And his voice is just, uh, just amazing. But what does he say in a new world and an old soul? I, I'm not so old, but but I, if I look at Sweden, I, I never lived in the, the States or even been there. But growing up in Sweden in the 80s, 90s, such a beautiful place, such a, such a country that was really a powerful country for the for the citizens a safe country a uh, 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 economic that was stable and got jobs and even when the in the 90s when the Yugoslavian war uh, and the uh, immigrants from there came and they got jobs and it was it was possible for people to 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 come to Sweden and and get 
a good life. But then, I don't know. I don't really want to go in to what. But it's not the citizens' fault. I think it's the the, the government's fault and how you rule a country and. Follow the money. <laughs> I guess that's the, the 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 way it goes. Like follow the money and see where where the money that supports some of the craziest things that's happened in the world. And it's very surprising when I'm talking with people here. They get so surprised that Sweden has so many shootings and bombings. It's insane what's happened to Sweden. It's insane. We have most shootings and bombings in, in all Europe. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure of, I've been sitting and reading statistics and things like that. And that's really sad. It, it's, uh, it's so many gangs and, and the, the, the fighting between them and the drugs it's not only the narcotic um, trade but but it's a lot of that and <laughs> so funny swedish police and government went out to target the users like if you use narcotics you you support gang violence and putting the blame on the users. <laughs> and yeah, I can see it in one way, but here is the, the thing. So if people stop using, say 50%, we just play with it, 50% stop, and you have different gangs that have the cocaine trade and the cannabis trade in Sweden. So if 50 stop, 50% stop. What happens then? You think that the, the, <laughs> then these gangs will start killing each other and try to get rid because everybody wants the other 50% that's left. It doesn't make sense this weird as way that they're thinking and, 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 and drugs will always be there. I'm truly standing strong on legalization and control. And people say, but is letting the narcotics free? It's free now. Any fucking 10 year old can go and buy, buy Coke and weed at the, the supermarket outside. That's how it goes now. Just because it's legalized doesn't mean it's no control. It's out of control now. It's just insane. And and I miss the old Sweden. I do. And I guess a lot of Americans miss the old America. And for me, when growing up, America was this amazing place where all these uh, good TV shows and powerful, strong men and beautiful women and just amazing country, lots of foot, uh, not football, American football, the baseball. And, and it was just a, if I go back in my mind and thinking of America, it just, this, this, this the American dream. Just like that. And that changed now to, to see what's going on now. And I was, what are you doing? And I don't speak to you, not speak to, for the pointing at the government. And this dividing that's going on and been going on for a, a lot of years, but it's just insane. It's just insane. But I also see that a lot of people start waking up. 
and waking up i don't talk about woke <laughs> i'm talking about waking up and see the craziness that's going on but it makes me sad it makes me sad that united states has become like that and it makes me super sad that sweden has become like that so but this tracks really track is really amazing and um Mm. Glad I listened to it again. Yes, guys. What can I say? Sobriety is really a journey with ups and downs like life is. Because now my life is living in sobriety. I know everything is going to be all right, but I can't deny that it's tough. But I can also see that this tough time and hard times being broke and so on and so on also put me in place and makes me humble, makes me think twice about what I'm doing. And that's very important because I'm very impulsive and with the situation I am in now, I'm not, I can't be. And that is some growing inside me that hmm, maybe need to do like this instead of just rushing into things. Yeah, that's my Sunday. I'm gonna go to bed early and go up early. Day 45 of sobriety. Thank you for supporting me. I'll see you tomorrow, a new week. Wish you a great day, evening, morning, or wherever you are. And with that said, stay strong, stay safe, stay and feel blessed. Peace out from Sri Lanka.